This was like one of my favorite books when I was a little kid. Hi ho, Huff and Heat recording, we will go. The Three Sillies. Once upon a time, there was a farmer and his wife who had one daughter and she was courted by a gentleman. Why, daughter, look, a gentleman comes a courting. He looks rich. He looks handsome. He looks silly. Every evening he stopped to supper and the daughter was sent to the cellar to draw the cider. One night, just as the daughter turned on the tap, she noticed a mallet in the beams and she began a thinking. Suppose him and me was to be married and we was to have a teeny tiny son and he was to grow up to be a fine young man and suppose our son was to come down into the cellar to draw the cider and the mallet was to fall on his head. What a dreadful thing it would be. Here lies our son, dunked by a mallet. And she began crying. <clears throat> well, the girl failed to return with the cider, and finally her mother went down to see what was a keeping her. Look at that horrid mallet, shrieked the daughter, and she confessed all that she had been a thinking. Married, a teeny tiny son, all growed up, drawing the cider, donked, dead. Dear, dear, said the mother, and she began a crying too. Then after a while, the father went down to look for them. Look at that horrid mallet, screamed the mother, and she told him all that their daughter had been a thinking. Married a teeny tiny son, all growed up, drawing the cider, donked, dead. Dear, 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 said the father, and he started a crying. <clears throat> At last, gen the gentleman got tired of waiting, and he went to draw a sip of cider for himself. And wasn't he surprised to find the farmer and his wife and daughter a sobbing and a screeching and a swimming in the cellar full of cider? The gentleman burst out laughing. Ha ha, he 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 ha, hardy har ha, he he ha 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 he har ha. In all my travels, I've never met the three sillier sillies," said he. <clears throat> now I shall. Now I shall set out traveling again, and when I come. When I can find three sillies who are even sillier than you three, I'll come back and marry your daughter. And the gentleman left them all a wailing worse than before. Wah, 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 wah. No teeny tiny son, no husband for our daughter. Wah, wah, wah. Get lost, bozo. After traveling a while, the gentleman came upon an old woman who was teaching a cow to spring onto the roof of her, of her cottage to eat the weeds that were growing there. <laughs> Pay attention, grapefruit. Up you go now. Leap onto the roof. Woo! Woo! Madam, she's a cow, not a kangaroo. Cock-a-doodle-doo! <coughs> The old woman insisted. Listen, you bovine goof. I said puff, puff, up on the roof. Woof, move, oof. move your hoof. Finally, she got the cow up. <coughs> then the old woman fastened then the old woman fastened a string around the cow's neck and passed it down the chimney and tied it to the other end of her and to her wrist. She'll be quite safe with this string tied to both of us. She can't fall off the roof without my knowing it. Quite daft, said the gentleman, and he, and he took his leave.
The gentleman hadn't gone far when he was overtaken by a funeral procession, and he heard a dreadful tale. It seemed the old woman's cow had tumbled off the roof, and the weight of the cow had pulled the old woman into the chimney, into the chimney, and she got stuck halfway up and was smothered in soot. A tumbled, a yanked, a smothered. Well, that was the first big silly. Granny McLoot is kaput. She was a hoot. Oh, miss the old coot. Brute. <clears throat> the gentleman traveled on and on and on and on and on until he came to an inn at dusk. The inn was so full that the innkeeper put him in a double-bedded room. Here's the room you'll have to share with Neddy and his teddy bear. In the morning, the gentleman, the gentleman was surprised to see his roommate hang his trousers on the knob of the chest of drawers and try to jump into them. He tried over and over and over and over again, but he couldn't manage, he couldn't manage it. Look, try it this way, said the gentleman, and he showed the fellow how to put his trousers on. This is how. Wow. <clears throat> Up is on, down is off. The fellow proceeded to pop his pop his trousers on and off and up and down until he had quite mastered the skill. Then he bursted joyfully into song. I sally forth with pants unfurled to share my talent with the world. When it comes to getting dressed, I'm the champion, I'm the best. When it comes to getting dressed, oh. That fellow's mad, burser, possessed. He's a public pest. Put him under arrest. <laughs> well, that was the second big silly. <clears throat> the gentleman's travels soon brought him to a village, and outside the village there was a pond. And around the pond was a crowd of people with rakes and brooms and pitchforks, a whining, a whimpering, and a wailing. Sob, whine, sigh, sniff, whimper, wheeze, weep, wail, snuffle, hiccup, he, 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 hearty, ha, har, ha, he, ho, ho, har, he, har, 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 ho, 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 he, 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 he. The gentleman asked what was the matter, why they said matter enough. The moon's tumbled into the pond and we can't get her out. The gentleman burst out laughing. Look up into the sky, it's only the moon's reflection, he said. Ha 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 ha. Well, that was dozens of sillies, but before the gentleman could complete his list, the crowd began Arrestive, a riled, and a riotous. Dolt, idiot, varmint, churl, scoundrel, pumpkinhead, lout. Giddy a puff and heap. Suddenly, I longed to see those sunny sillies back on that farm. And so he took his leave. The gentleman was heartened by the joyous welcome that awaited him. Dear, sweet, simple-minded sillies, he said, in my travels I have met dozens of sillies who are far sillier than yourselves. Therefore, I shall keep my promise. Let us be married at once. I'll have a teeny tiny son. She'll be married. This dude is a real turkey. <laughs>